Hey, welcome back folks. Uh, today we're going to work on this guitar some more. We're going to put the tuning key. We're going to uh, add some tuning keys, which are these things here. See, there's four of them. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll probably end up using just a couple of uh, meshes. We'll use a plane and a cylinder. Okay, first of all, let me go to the top view, and as you, as you can see, these are a little at an angle. We, we want them straight up and down. So I'm going to take a copy of this reference image by hitting Shift D and moving it just over here a little bit. And zoom in. And we kind of want to get it. I'm going to rotate it to get this kind of looking a little straight and then zoom into it and I'm going to use these grids as like a reference so I'm going to use the G key to grab it and move we'll put one right there let me look at it uh, on one of these right there we'll use this one as a reference so let's go ahead and add a plane mesh plane we'll move it over to here okay we'll scale it down to about the size of this turning key here okay scale it a bit more up oh, there we go Okay, now we go into edit mode. We're going to add some loop cuts. Put one here, 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 and here. Alright, let's go into select our verts. Go ahead and just use our move tool, select all these top ones and we'll scale them in a bit uh, I don't know about that let's scale all our middle ones in a bit because we're really not going to be using much of these vertices we'll just be using the outside ones okay Let's select this one and move it down. Select this one and this one and move it down. Let's select this one. This one, scale it in. This one. Let's go ahead and select these four. We'll scale these in. Good. Let's scale these in just a bit more. Okay. Now let's go to the side view here. Object mode, take a look at it. And of course, we'll bevel these edges here a bit. Uh, let's go to a modifier and we'll just go ahead and solidify it by hitting solidify. And get it about that thick and apply our solifier and then we'll go into edit mode again and use our edge tool select these really sharp edges that's the only ones I'm going to select just the really sharp ones and we'll hit uh, control B to bevel and mouse wheel up and down to change the bevel process okay okay that looks good I got a little issue right here but I'm not gonna let that worry me Okay, now we will add a, a 
a cylinder add mesh cylinder and about 16 verticals will be good let's move it over here and scale it it's a little too small okay now we need to rotate it uh, this way and let me go to my item and look at the rotation Ooh, I'm right. We want a 90 degree angle. I'm pretty close, but I'm going to go ahead and just change it to 90 to make it perfect. And let's go ahead and shade it smooth. And scale it out a bit. Okay. Scale it in. Scale it out a bit more. Go to the top view and let's, let's line it up. there okay and then we'll get these actually let's thicken this one up a bit more using the scale okay just eyeballing the dimensions here or the it looks good let's see now let's look at the top Okay, we'll end up moving this in a little bit. So let's go ahead and add another cylinder. Right, we'll move it over here. And we want to align with the top view. We want to align it up with this round piece here. So I'm going to scale it down to about the size and move it about there scale it a bit more All right now let's take a look at it okay I'm going to go ahead and shade this one smooth and go to our data properties and hit the auto smooth same with this one shade smooth and hit auto smooth okay This is sticking out too much, so we're going to push it in by going into edit mode, select this face, and just move it inside the cylinder to where you can't see it. And we're going to move the bottom up a bit till it's close to that cylinder. Let's go ahead and move the top one up a little bit for thickness purposes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select all these and apply their scale and rotation. That way when we move everything at once, it won't get all messed up. Alright, let's move it up closer to the neck. Alright, we need to go to this view. Well and delete that. We're not going to need this reference figure anymore. So let's take this guy, move him up to here, zoom in on it, and let's ro go ahead and rotate it since we've got all our parts kind of done on that. We'll move it to right there. That's close enough. And now, let's see about where we're going to. We want to look at the bottom and of course that's sticking out way too much. We need to uh, get it pretty flush with the bottom of the headstock here. Like so. Take this one, go into edit mode and we're going to move, select the face and move it down quite a bit. Okay. Now we need something for the strings to wrap around, so we're going to make sure that face is selected. Use an insert by hitting the I key and just going in like that. And that's what our string will wrap around. And we'll go ahead and extrude this up. That's probably way too high, but what we're going to end up having to do is put the strings on here 
and then we can go and edit this tuning key quite a bit more and you know add our string wraps and all that good stuff so for but for right now we're just going to use this one we don't need to make any more because we can usually just end up duplicating we'll join all these three parts together duplicate them and move them to this position this position so we want to we don't really want to do a lot of detail on this right now because we're going to be copying it to the other ones okay thank you for watching this one the next one I think will work on the strings and we'll go ahead and, f and finish up that tuning key and thank you for watching